events that made America. By the early 1850s, the plan to build a transcontinental railway needed the still unorganized portions of the land from the Louisiana Purchase to be given territorial shape. Southern senators would not support any such bill unless it repealed the Missouri Compromise, which prohibited slavery in U.S. territories north of latitude 3630 and had done so since 1820. Stephen A. Douglas, senator from Illinois, championed a compromise bill that would replace the Missouri Compromise with the notion of popular sovereignty, which would allow territorial populations to decide whether or not to allow slavery. The bill passed and signaled a seismic shift in American politics. The Democrats would lose their congressional majority in the 1854 congressional midterms. The Whig Party would split, allowing the know-nothings and Republicans to take national stage. And it, it would hasten the rise of Abraham Lincoln, who made a name for himself, debating Stephen Douglas over the implications of popular sovereignty. As for the settlement of the new territory, the bill spurred that settlement, which caused problems for the Native Americans in the region, precipitating a demographic decline for them, as well as fueling bloody civil conflict in Kansas as opponents and proponents of slavery flooded into the territory.